I am so excited that you're here today. And I'm so excited that the painting is done. The house is finished. So, you know what that means. We have work to do. Let's get to it. We're going to spruce up our summer front porch. Dooley, and this is Ebony Ivy and Time, and I welcome you. I certainly hope that you will enjoy today's video. You know, it's always fun when you're putting in new touches, and this is such a beautiful day to be able to um, invite you to the house and to see the house, and certainly it's a beautiful day to spend outside. Now, you know what? The birds are singing, as you can hear, and uh, I'm delighted to be able to be a part of nature and to hear their sweet song. So, there are a few touches that I'm going to be making to the house, and I'm going to show you how to decorate your, your house in such a way that for those of you who are at that age of traveling and going here and there, you are able to set your house in such a way that every time you pull up, the house is perfect. You know, you don't have to worry about all the watering and the tending and all those kind of things. It's ready and it's always perfect. So that's what we're gonna do today. Welcome to each of you to my summer front porch. Come and decorate with me. Now you know my inspiration always for the front porch is to find just the perfect flag. And this particular flag has beautiful florals in it and it sits in a lovely basket. Now let's see what we can do with this. And I'm gonna see if I can bring you just a little bit closer so you can see how beautiful it is it says welcome and you know that's definitely for you I want you to come to this front door so I can bring you into the kitchen it has gotten extremely hot out here and uh, like I said I was trying not to melt on you I wanted everything to stay the way it was supposed to so that you would actually know who I was. Our welcome to our home sign uh, sits here underneath the doorbell. And uh, I put a little wreath in for the O in home. And you can see some of the little ends of the bows are covering up a little bit of the M, but it just depends on your angle as to how much of that you're going to see. I also stood the larger lantern next to it. And for now, because I'm not going to necessarily be here all the time, I put in an artificial plant just to give it a little greenery in the bottom. And I'll probably try to find something else to go down there so that it won't feel so lonesome. But for now, that's gonna be great. I could not put it out on the steps because it would get rained on and I don't want my flowers rained on. Now my front porch needed a pot of flowers and I'm using this urn shaped pot and you'll see that I haven't put anything in this lantern but that's only because I couldn't find another pot of flowers for the moment but don't think that I'm going to leave it naked it will eventually have greenery in it as well. I'm going to bring you in just a little bit closer because I want you to see everything that is in the wreath because I've tucked in a little something extra just for you that says welcome. Now if you look closely you're going to see that the wreath that we put together about a week or so ago that um, I have added in a sign. I'm sure you saw the red truck sitting out in front of the house. Well, guess what? 
I found a red truck full of little florals. Isn't that cute? Now, unfortunately, because I found the truck after the wreath was done, I couldn't exactly mimic everything that was in the truck on the wreath, but it's close enough, and it certainly has all the, all the colors and variations. So, welcome to my door. You know what, we got everything out on the porch and most especially you can see right there behind me that the wreath is up. And you know, when that wreath goes up, this girl is done. It is finished. So I'm going to turn this camera around and I'm going to give you a full look at what my front porch looks like. You are always welcome to the home of Ebony, Ivy, and Tyne. You are invited to join our family. Our family loves to decorate, to cook, and to chat. All those things make our home a warm and happy place. The kitchen is the hub, it's the heart of the home. It is in our kitchens where we love, nurture, encourage, and guide our families over delicious meals or just across the counter. Your kitchen should be the place where everyone wants to come, have a seat, and get a hug. So join me weekly right here in the kitchen of Ebony, Ivy, and Time and see what we're up to. It is always a pleasure to have you right here in the kitchen. It is always a lot of fun. And you know what? We're able to cook and to decorate and to create right here in the kitchen for the kitchen. Now, I linked below some of the video where I put that wreath together and also showed you the lanterns. Uh, what I did not do was to show you the, the, little, the little teeny wreath that I did for the O in home. And so basically, you know, put some little flowers on there to kind of carry over the theme from everything else. But remember, this is a front porch that doesn't require any maintenance other than just making that every sure that everything is straight. So, I hope that you will enjoy it. Now, I want you to come back to the kitchen and I want you to enjoy the things that we're gonna be doing for the summer. Because after all, here at Ebony Ivy and Time, you know that we do things in the kitchen for the kitchen. And I know that each of you have to come through the front door so I always want my front door to look as marvelous as I can possibly get it. And so I'm hoping that you have a blessed and wonderful week and enjoy every second of this nice toasty summer. So I'll see you soon right here in the kitchen.